Welcome to the Navis Newscast for Thursday, July 9th, 2020. I'm Donis Wilkinson Keynes. The Honorable Spencer Brand says he is pleased with the contribution the Nevis Water Department is making as its response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Brand is the minister responsible for water services. We saw a revenue of $2.8 million, Mr. President, between January to May of 2019. And under the same period, Mr. President, of January to May of 2020, we are seeing just a bit, just a, a, a little more than $2 million in revenue, Mr. President. Minister Brand notes that although the Nevis Water Department has seen a 26% decrease in its revenue so far for this year, it is for good cause. And it was the directive, Mr. President, of the Honorable Premier of Nevis to ensure that we ramped up our food production. And the Minister of Agriculture, Mr. President, would have ensured that we do just that. And we have, Mr. President, some 90 bona fide farmers who will benefit from free water over the next few months, Mr. President. So, Mr. President, the decrease in revenue was for a good cause. COVID-19 prevention measures call for the frequent washing of hands and the sanitization of frequently touched surfaces. The total amount of water produced, Mr. President, under the period January to May 2019 was 173 million 749 430 imperial gallons. And under the same period, Mr. President, we saw the production of 225 million 685,600 imperial gallons, Mr. President. That was an increase of 23% of water that was sold, Mr. President. Now, Mr. President, we say sold, but some of it is free water. And we recognize, Mr. President, that it was for a very good cause. Minister of Water Services, the Honorable Spencer Brand. In more local news... Oh, I think it's wonderful. I mean, I think it's something unique that, that Nevis can promote. Jane Hansom attended the Nevis Mango and Food Festival cook-off on Saturday, July 4th, when she lauded the festival's organizers for the unique three-day event. The Nevis Mango and Food Festival is a weekend totally dedicated to the mango and the deliciously creative cuisine made with it. I am the director of um, Sponge Marketing, um, who represent Nevis in the UK. So it's my job to promote the island of Nevis to all of the Brits who would love to come and visit. And I'm a huge fan. I love this island. I, I bought a house here. Uh, that's how much I love it. Um, so it's great. Um, I'm also a huge mango lover. I know that you've got over 44 varieties of mango here. The Julie Mango being my favourite. Um, so it's wonderful to, um, to showcase this. I mean, obviously with COVID, we can't have this um, in real time and we don't have the visitors, but hopefully very soon they will come flooding back. But in the meantime, it's nice to promote Nevis and to remind everybody back in the UK that just what a wonderful island this, this is and what a fantastic bounty of natural fresh produce um, we can produce. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I mean, I think it's something unique that, that Nevis can promote because I don't know of any other islands that has, have quite as many mango varieties as us. So it's a unique selling point. I think it's something that Nevis as an island and as a destination um, should promote and yeah it's wonderful it's what it's absolutely wonderful and, and of course anybody who loves mangoes is this is really the the place to be the fourth edition of the nevis mango and food festival is slated for july 2nd to 4th 2021 it is the perfect weekend for chefs and foodies to be on nevis international celebrity chefs and nevis culinary artists will participate in and host multiple events over the entire weekend for more information, as well as season passes, tickets, and reservations, visit nevismangofest.com. The Honorable Alexis Jeffers is commending all those who have bought into the plans and programs of the Nevis Island Administration through the Department of Agriculture. Minister Jeffers says the NIA is committed to ensuring that food security becomes the center of the government's plans, policies, and vision moving forward. We have seen a new thrust, that new hope, I will say, in agriculture. 
Over the years, we have had a lot of talk about agriculture, what it means to the development of the island of Nevis, what it means to the development of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. But in recent times, we have seen even more the importance of us feeding ourselves, not only in Nevis, but within the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. We have to get to the point where we are not dependent on outside forces or outside entities to feed us. Minister Jeffers was giving an update on the Ministry of Agriculture during the July 2nd sitting of the Nevis Island Assembly. As of March of this year, we'd have, we would have offered free land preparation to farmers. We have also offered free seeds, free seedlings, free fertilizer, subsidized water to our bona fide farmers for the next six months. We have also offered uh, assistance in fencing as well to not only farmers, but also to not only commercial or large-scale farmers, but also to backyard farmers. The Agriculture Minister also expressed the Ministry's intention to continue its 10K tree planting initiative. Earlier this year, we spoke about an initiative of planting 10,000 trees, which include fruit trees as well. We've had a slowdown in that, Mr. President, but we are hoping to uh, pursue that with some alacrity uh, over the next couple of weeks into the next couple of months. We are just about the middle of the year, and we are hoping that between now and the end of the year, we'll be able to meet that target. So at least our farmers and our homeowners can rest assured that we'll be contacting you, we'll be making information available so that you can be a part of this program, so that we can accomplish what we have set out to do at the start of this year. The government of St. Kitts and Nevis will continue to build out the diversified and resilient economy of the Federation. That was one of six pledges which were outlined in the Thorn speech delivered by Governor General, His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton, at the opening of the new session of the National Assembly on Wednesday, July 8th. In this new term, my government will set out to continue to build out the digital economy needed to power investment and diversification in all sectors of the economy. This will be facilitated by investment partnerships to advance research and development in the science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, STEAM, S-T-E-A-M, industry. Focus will also be given to strengthening the nation's cybersecurity infrastructure. Attractively, actively attract and recruit high-end manufacturing operators to the Federation while creating new jobs for our labor force. Facilitate new trade agreements with emerging markets such as India, Brazil, and South Africa in order to promote exports and attract new investments from these jurisdictions. Pursue the development of a small business rescue fund in order to assist businesses with resilience and rescue and recovery in the face of a disaster that interrupts business stroke economic activity in the country. Make more lands available for agricultural production, some of which have been earmarked to come from acreage already redeemed from the land for debt swap. Aggressively promote and facilitate local investment in agriculture and related technology in order to boost food security, agro and meat processing, reduce our food import bills, export produce to neighboring islands, and conserve foreign currency reserves. Stimulate further economic, economic activity in the city, urban, township, and rural parts, and activities appropriate to beach loca locations will be developed. Create an additional 500 new jobs in tourism, for which our people will be trained through the establishment of a state-of-the-art tourism and hospitality school of excellence. COVID-19 is teaching all countries the imperative of economic diversification and investment in new and emerging drivers, while strengthening traditional sectors, the Governor General noted. Even before the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was very clear to my government that we needed to remain steadfast to the task of building out an economy that was relatively tough enough to withstand the external shocks 
which can result from catastrophes such as Category 5 hurricanes and other major weather phenomena, as well as epidemics and pandemics. It is also an imperative of my government that we reduce our country's heavy, de heavy dependence on the CBI program, which, as is the case with tourism and the allied services sector, is a fragile and fickle industry in which more and more jurisdictions continue to invest and compete against small states such as ours. As outlined in the Thorn speech, the government also pledges to provide more opportunities to improve the quality of life of the people of St. Kitts and the Nevis, protect the Federation's people and its borders, enhance public services and infrastructure, pursue a greener, more sustainable future, and maintain its commitment to a good governance agenda at every level. The Newcastle Bay Foundation is celebrating Plastic Free July by inviting members of the public to join its Facebook challenge. The not-for-profit organization is inviting you to help keep our beaches and oceans free from plastic litter. My name is Nikesha Henry and I am an ambassador with the Newcastle Bay Foundation. I have exciting news to share. As we recognize Plastic Free July, the Newcastle Bay Foundation invites everyone to participate in its Facebook challenge. It's as easy as DTP. D. Download and use the CleanSwell app to record the items being collected. T. Take photos or videos which show how you avoid using single-use plastics and how you clean up single-use plastics from the environment. P. Post pictures on the Newcastle Bay Foundation Facebook page between July 1st and July 15th. Participants must submit entries for both the cleanup and avoiding the use of single-use plastics categories. Watch the video on the Newcastle Bay Foundation Facebook page for instructions on how to use the Clean Swell app to record the items being cleaned up. Entries will be judged based on the number of loves or likes received. The winners will be announced on July 30th during a Newcastle Bay Foundation Facebook watch party. Winners in various categories will receive prizes including a laptop, a smartphone and a tablet. Remember, in order to qualify, use the CleanSwell app, DTP. Need more information? Visit our Facebook page at Newcastle Bay Foundation or call us at 660-1154 for the terms and conditions. Prizes will be awarded to the first, the second and the third place winners. A Fisher's Prize will also be awarded as well as participation prizes for all who take part in the Facebook challenge. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, thank you for viewing. At a loss as to what's going on in Nevis, tune into NNC on MTV. Don't worry if you don't have cable either. NNC will bring the news to you wherever you are. Facebook and Facebook Live. YouTube and YouTube Live. NevisTVOnline.com. Roku app, NTV mobile app, Smart TV, Apple TV, and any other IPTV platforms.